What's up, car crew, and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm super excited because today I'm doing yet another wig haul, which is one of my favorite videos to film on my channel, just because I do the Let's Talk new synthetic wig releases, and I tell you guys what I plan to get, but it's, it's not a huge difference, but it definitely is a difference depending on what I end up ordering versus what I think I'm gonna get, because when they get get added to the sites and honestly you guys this is this is probably like four different orders because and I should have known this but like the wigs just kept on dropping and it was a lot of the ones that I really wanted to get and there were some that I was like I don't really need this but since I'm getting this one you guys know how I like to do my bulk orders so there's quite a few on this list and what I will unbox with you guys I like to do this because I'm showing you guys what I'm planning to review soon so you guys can let me know what you want to see first and all that jazz but before we jump into today's wig haul, if this is your first time seeing me here on the YT, hey go hey. My name is Courtney Janine. I do all things hair on this channel. I also have a lifestyle channel called Keep It Up With Courtney, where I do more vlogs, lifestyle content. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to the Crew family over there. And with that, let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, you guys, the first item that I'm going to show you guys is not a wig, but I recently picked these up from Amazon, and these are literally my favorite wig caps ever. So I'm going to link them them down below if you're interested this was eight dollars for one two three four five five packs of two so eight dollars for ten caps and i love these because y'all they're so good and every time i go to my local beauty supply store where i tried them for the first time they are always sold out in this color so i had to get it this is the touch ups hd wig cap they look like this i get them in the color nude they also have light brown i feel like if you are darker than me then i would say get light brown but if you are someone i feel like this works for lighter skin tones as well as darker skin tones because even sometimes with this for the most part I don't tint these because they just look so like they blend in so well but if you get these if like the light brown is sold out I feel like you can finesse this and get it to work for you just by tinting it so these are my favorite you guys I had to re-up because I was getting tired of wasting gas going to the beauty supply store near me and then going there and they never be in stock like I feel like I went I feel like I went over there like maybe it has to be like at least three times and they were always sold out and I tried to get the light brown but y'all it don't hit the same the nude is where it's at so yeah if y'all want some really good like ultra thin breathable lightweight cap that literally blend into your skin get the touch ups I'm gonna have a link down in my Amazon storefront as well as just a link to them if you're interested but had to bring these out because y'all I was so happy when I found these on Amazon I was so happy okay okay y'all so for the most part I bought all these wigs with my own money except these two these are PR but y'all when I tell you I'm so excited about these two units. I mentioned this in one of my recent or maybe both of my recent Let's Talk new synthetic wig releases where I kind of talked about the uh, Sleek Lay Park collection and how I felt like it's been a minute since we got one and I'm going to be reviewing two new Sleek Lay Park units in March. So stay tuned because I'm so excited about these two units. The first unit is a Tina. This is a 20 inch side part unit and it comes in some really fun colors. I picked it out in the stock car color which is great crush but it's so pretty you guys can you see i talked about this in one of my recent less talks and i mentioned that i was gonna be reviewing this so i'm super excited to actually try this out the sleek Lip part collection is not my fave i am going to literally i'm gonna if i have time i'm gonna film my favorite 10 outro collections today i've been talking about it for so many months but i'm really gonna bring that to you guys this collection is not my favorite but i was super excited to see this collection come out with colors that remind me of the color bomb collection so i'm so excited Excited to try this out it looks so pretty the colors are so pretty but they're so wearable like it's just a hint of color so it's fine but it's not too overpowering and it's not super out there you know so that's why I want to try this I cannot wait I love a side part unit I love 20 inches that's like my type of thing so I'll let you guys know and I'll be reviewing this in March so stay tuned the next one is my last PR unit that I want to talk about because the rest I purchased with my own money this is a sleek lay part Rudy I mentioned this but spring is here basically y'all it's it's so nice outside. I love, I love the warm weather. I am not the hugest fan of daylight savings time because I don't really know who thought of it, to be honest. Like, who just thought, oh, let's wake up earlier? 
what like i don't understand that but i do like that it gets darker later so i do like that and i love the spring i love the warmer months i'm outside okay and a lot of times what do people bring out in the summertime okay the curly units yes but i'm talking about the bobs okay and i'm gonna be doing a series you guys know if you know me then you know i hate bobs literally hate bobs but i want to try to find the best bob and this is one of the options that i have this is rudy from the outro sleep lay park collection i picked it up in a number one b i'm so excited about this you guys it just looks like the perfect like side part bob i am someone who thinks that bobs are really hard to mass manufacture and i want to use this series to try to find the perfect bob in time for spring or during spring so we know which unit to get okay and this is going to be one of the ones that i try out i also have other ones that y'all will see as well because i got another bob contender so this is rudy she's like a side part bob i think she's really cute and i cannot wait to try her of course the sleek leg part collection is our already very flat that's one of the key features about this collection so i'm super excited to revisit it especially in 2024 these are the first sleek lay part units that we've gotten in 2024 so i cannot wait to see okay let's see let's see what the sleek lay part is still good or was there a reason why they haven't come out with a new one in a minute we're going to put it as that so make sure you're subscribed turn on those post notifications because this is definitely one unit that will be dropping in march okay have yeah. my word these next couple of units you guys i have really since the top of the year i've been really loving you part wigs i've been going to the salon just to get my hair pressed out and being able to really rock some very natural styles and this one is one of my favorites it's this one and another other one but i already used the other one so i'm just like saving this one because y'all these are my favorite like i still really love like regular wigs but i really do like the look of less like no lace sometimes especially just it's so much easier getting ready like i feel like there is a bit of high maintenance to the whole thing about wigs that have lace if that makes sense it just is very time consuming like it takes me a minute to get it to the point where i'm like okay this is giving scalp you know and so i really have loved seeing my hair just in its natural state and not natural state but seeing my hair my natural hair just blend very effortlessly having the opportunity to like try u part wig and i have tried a v part human hair wig but for the most part my u part wigs have been synthetic and my favorite collection is the outre brig beautiful hair this is their dominican body curl 20 i picked it up in natural brown i definitely like the natural brown color a lot more than natural black the first time i got this I got it in natural black and it was a lot my hair was definitely lighter so this time around I got natural brown and how I know that it's better than the natural black is because I also picked up the Dominican blowout insert pictures if I have any but with the Dominican blowout I went in with the natural brown and it looks so much better you guys I was absolutely obsessed with my hair this is one of my favorite collections you guys and I really love it with the Dominican blowout my hair stylist she actually thinned out the wig for me and it looks so much better you guys like I didn't even know that was thing i don't even know what she was doing i should have filmed it honestly because i don't know what she was doing to the back of my head when i tell you it looked so freaking natural you guys when i walked out of that salon everybody was like oh tell her to do me next and i was like period because i look good like no shade within no shade that's really become like my not special occasion but like i want to uh, just give my hair a break a little bit between like these wig styles and i think that the u part wig is the perfect way to do that so yeah you guys if you are in the market for like a synthetic u part wig this is the one for you you guys i love this one and i love the dominican blowout i hope they come out with more styles i definitely am going to tell outre <laughs> next time i'm on the phone with them i'm gonna say outre can we get some more of these because i would love to see like a shorter length the dominican blowout or even the curly like this is 20 inches i would love to see like a 16 18 because my hair is very short so shorter length definitely will blend a lot easier with my hair so yeah love this one love this though y'all this is a repurchase okay you guys staying on theme with the very like natural styles i also got two instant weave collection units from sensational this is iwd one and number two this is like an afro style i don't know what i envisioned with this honestly like the, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm. I don't know what I was thinking. Probably to do like a ponytail maybe or like a headband wig collection because another thing that I've been loving to do is ponytails. I'm going to give you guys a tea on like what's my favorite ponytails because a lot of times I'll do like a U-part wig and then after I'm like ready to take out my braids from my U-part, I will take out my braids and then I'll like do a little slick up bun. I mean, well, bun slash ponytail or puff for the, like two days and then I'll like wash my hair, get braids, like straight back cornrows and be ready for my install. So I was thinking that this would look 
look cute as like a little puff i have a really small puff but this one is bigger so i'm going to try this and yeah so i picked this up and then this is also from the instant weave collection this is instant weave drawstring 11 this is like a it's a very natural length i don't even know how long it is sensational should definitely take a page out of outre's book and like put the length on it i don't know how long this is but it's like about shorter length so probably like 14 to 12 inches but it's so natural looking and it has some layers in it i love it i one day want to just get my hair completely pressed out because usually when i go to the salon for my u-part wigs i just get my leave out pressed out and everything else just like in braids but i feel like one day i want to get it completely pressed out so i could do some styles with like these half wigs because i really think that would look so cute so this is going to be a part of like a half wig lookbook but yeah i freaking love this unit this is a repurchase i've purchased this before too <sighs> all right you guys this next one is from the swirlista collection this is the melted hairline swirlista swirl 105 in the number two i mentioned this one a part of my let's talk and you guys know that i'm looking for the perfect bob unit and i'm hoping can y'all see i'm hoping that maybe swirl 105 is the one it does look very similar to rudy so i'm not sure let me know down below future me might be like girl what why would you even offer that but i'm wondering if i should do them both in the same review so y'all can see the difference between the two because i think that might be worth it just because they both are side part units and they look about the same length so let me know if that would be interesting this is for at least a 105 and i also have rudy rudy and a 1b swirl 105 and 2 so they're probably going to be super similar the only thing that i could think that will make make them different is if one is a right side part and one is a left side part but you never know i want to like test out see okay what's really the difference between the sleek leg and the swirly stuff so let me know if y'all be interested in that i feel like that would be a cool video and it'll be the perfect video to kind of set up this what is the perfect bob series you know i feel like that's the perfect way to kind of kick off the series but let me know what y'all think if y'all want to see two separate reviews that's perfectly fine i feel like when i do two wigs in one it definitely takes me a minute it definitely takes me like two days to film because I'm gonna do one wig one day and the next day I'm gonna do the second wig. I'm not I'm not doing it in the same day. I'm sorry. Unless I do, unless I pull like a glueless wig, but I don't know. Y'all let me know which I want if y'all would want to see that. But yeah, y'all, I'm on the hunt for the perfect bob and swirl 105 might be it. This is gonna be my second swirlista unit and I wasn't the hugest fan of swirlista 102. I'm not sure if it was the texture. I'm not sure if it was the style. So I wanted to revisit this collection and i thought that swirl 105 was the perfect one to do it if i don't feel like if i don't like this one either i'm probably gonna be off the swirlistas for a minute unless a style really sells me and i think the disappointment with the swirlista it would just hit a little bit harder because of the fact that i love the melted hairline collection so much i was expecting the swirlista collection to just blow me out of the park but it didn't do that so I'm hoping maybe we can see a difference with Miss 105, but we'll see. Okay, this next collection, I'm so, I'm so shook. You guys, I have to do a Let's Talk video for Sensational because I haven't done one in that long. But this collection literally blew me away. I've been saying for, I haven't been saying this on my channel, but I've definitely been thinking this. I was like, when is a synthetic wig company going to come out with the Kinky Edges wig? And what does Sensational do? Do it. I'm so excited. I can already tell from the, um, from the box that like, mm, I don't know. I don't know if they did it right. I saw Kyra Sean's video and I loved it. This is what also made me think maybe I should do two bobs in the same video because she did three different units, actually four different units, but three different styles in her video. And I just loved watching it. Like I love seeing the different units from this collection. She reviewed every single, <laughs> she reviewed every single one except this one. Um, so I was weak. I feel like after watching her video, I should have got the straight style, which I almost got, but I was like holding out for this one she did a great technique in her video where she was like brushing out the the kinky edges just to make them a little bit more realistic because they come out very textured and it like kind of conflicts with the hair it's so weird but yeah i'm so excited about this you guys i got the 13 by 6 kinky body wave 18 i felt like this was just my type of style compared to the other ones i felt like this one had layers i felt like it had curls of course i love a good kinky wig i never really was hype i mean i was hype about the kinky edges trend 
did I really try a lot of wigs to compare the synthetic version to? No, but I'm still so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, this is innovative. I feel like Sensational and another wig that I got is from another new collection and I'm just like, oh my gosh, like they are doing the daggone thing. And this has a lot because I literally, I can count on my finger. I can count on one hand or maybe two hands how many Sensational units I reviewed last year and I really wanted to be better about reviewing more units from other companies. Now, I'll try to make it hard. I was just making it really hard because they keep releasing and I'll be like, oh, I need this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. But Sensational is, honestly, they were the reason why I picked up a lot of other units because I saw this drop and I was like, oh, I have to get it. And that's why I also was like, okay, let me just go ahead and add Swirly to 105 to the cart to make it um, hit that shipping, that free shipping. Y'all know how I'll be after that free shipping. I'm so excited about this, y'all. This might be the first one that y'all see after this video. Um, If not one of the outro sleek lay parts, it's probably gonna be this one because I'm just so excited and I haven't seen anyone do this specific style yet I've seen the 14 inches I've seen the straight style I've seen the what's the other one that they draw oh I don't really like the curly one I'm not gonna lie I don't like that curly one but yeah haven't seen anyone do this style so I'm so excited you guys I'm gonna bring out a tea wait on wait on me it's gonna be it's definitely gonna be if not this week it's probably gonna be like it's probably gonna be this week though I'm really gonna fight hard to like get this out because I'm so excited and I really want to give sensational their flowers because they've been doing the daggone thing and we got another new collection to talk about so just bear with me because we got more wigs we got more wigs yeah <laughs> okay guys the next one is also a part of that bob search unit bob search series this is the outre 5x5 lace closure unit in the style natural yaki 14 this is a part of the 5x5 closure you guys i haven't seen a new one of these in bad luck too this is kind of like the sleep lay part collection where i was like hoping that outre did not just abandon because <laughs> i really love this collection you guys but i'm so excited to have a new style in my hand so i picked it up in the color ginger auburn so scared so literally shaking in my boots but i got this color because i just felt like it was so pretty and after i saw this i was like okay this is my last order i was like this is my last order so i do have like maybe four more wigs to talk about but this was a part of my last order because i was like girl no more it was this one that i had to get because i was like i need it it was just this color the ginger auburn i was like i need it but also i haven't seen a five by five lace closure in matte long so i can't wait to try this and see what it gives and i also wanted to try the ginger color because i felt like like with the swirly still 102 i tried a ginger color i don't know if it was ginger auburn i really hope it wasn't because i wasn't really feeling that color on my skin but, but i want to still try a new like ginger color and i feel like this looks so pretty on the model so i want to give it a try so we'll see what she gives this is a new swoop series unit i recently reviewed their swoop 2 loved it you guys if you haven't seen that review definitely check it out this is swoop 4 and i got it in the stock car color which is drff amber sunset i have been seeing this color on a lot of the swoops units uh, i think it was swoop one but it was sold out and when i saw the model where amber sunset on the stock card for this one i was like okay let me get it and i was already getting the four by four i mean not four by four the five by five closure unit and when i saw that the amber sunset was still in stock i was like okay let me just go ahead and get this once again to get that free shipping <laughs> no shade no shade y'all like girl you spend all this money and you worried about free shipping i know but i'm just one of those worlds like i can't i can't i can't that's me that's me Okay, y'all, we are down to our last three units. This one, I'm actually, I forgot I got this one. This is the Sensational Dashi Full Wig Unit in the Style Unit 16 in the color number two. This actually looks similar to what I have on, but this unit is from Jake and Go's Natural Me Collection. And this one looks super similar, so I hope it gives the same vibe. I really like this unit. It looks so cute. And Shirley Temple-like. <laughs> yeah, but I got this one. I forgot I got this one, but... We'll see what it's giving. We'll see what it's giving. This is from Outre's Lace Front Collection. This is the style Harley. It's 18 inches. It's very layered. I picked it up in red velvet. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, should I get the natural color? And I was like, no, let me get red velvet. Um, Because I didn't really want to get this orange color. I wasn't really feeling the pink. I was like, let me get the red. So we'll see what this gives. I'm definitely going to cut bangs. Y'all know I'm not the hugest fan of the Lace Front Collection unit units at all. But I was like, uh, I'm buying this next wig. <laughs> and i need to fill up the car and this was one of the outro units that i was like debating about and i said if i needed to meet the free shipping i would add this y'all know the lace front collection units that are very affordable so i was like okay let me just add to my cart and i did okay this last one is from sensational this is another one where i was like okay i i even asked you guys what you wanted to see first because i was going back and forth between the kinky edges and this one this is the sensational butter lace 
pre-cut collection y'all pre-cut i have seen some like reviews on this collection already like people trying it on and stuff and it looks like they do give us some lace a part of this i know that i still need to at least have a little bit of lace just to really blend in the unit to be honest so i was shook with valentina because it was pre-cut and there was no extra lace so that shook me but this there's gonna be extra lace from what i've seen and of course i'm still gonna do my full review but what i've seen it isn't like a jagged edge i don't know if that's just like what i saw but i'm gonna see when i open this up and do my review if it has a jagged edge because i feel like the jagged edge really makes it like gives that illusion to the human eye that oh is it lace is it material so i really hope they did that but this is giving me like the bluest wigs i see on tiktok everyone just like like, takes them up the package and literally slaps them on and they give so i'm really excited about this collection oh did i show y'all i got um pre-cut unit one in the color secret highlight chestnut i just thought it would be so cute so this is another one that i'm really excited for i'm excited about this collection and i'm excited about the kinky edges i'm definitely going to do two separate videos for like a video for each collection because i really want to give y'all the whole rundown on these collections because i wasn't able to do a let's talk about these so i'm I'm gonna kind of position it similar to how I did my Swoop 102 where I kind of give you an in-depth overview about the collection, all that, and then we do the install. So yeah, you guys, I'm so excited about this. I really want to give you guys what y'all want to see. So let me know down below. And y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. I feel like this video is gonna be so long. Um, I'm gonna try to edit it so that it's just one part because I know y'all was probably like, girl, why are we watching two parts and let's talk? But y'all, with so many units, I had to say, wait. I had to catch my breath. So yeah, y'all, let me know which unit y'all want to see first. I'm thinking the kinky edges. I'm thinking the pre-cut. I'm thinking the sleek leg parts. But y'all let me know down below because I listen to the core crew, okay? I make these videos for myself because I love being creative, but I also make for my core crew. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.